Hi. Thank you for Good having me. You, of course. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, this is welcome、gorgeous. to my little home. This、welcome、is the kitchen.、In. Yes. Wow. Awesome. So Joy actually is the food stylist who works on our show, which is amazing.、Yeah. And we asked her to join us as our main person. What do we? What would we call it? What do we call our talent? like talent? You're a talent on the show today. So、yeah. thank you for having us. So fun to be on the other side. I know the, it's really、camera. great.、Yeah. Joy is so sweet and stays out of the way most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> But today, job, she,、yeah. today you get permission to just be constantly in the way, which、yeah. we love. Tell me what we're making. Today we're going to be making my mom's creamy masago baked mussels. So this was like a go-to appetizer she would make for like potlucks and gatherings. So as the name suggests, it's mussels、yes. baked with like a. Creamy, umami-rich mayo and masago mixture. And this is、um, a, a crowd-pleasing recipe. Yes, especially my brother. This is like his favorite dish. How many can he eat? Like fifteen. Whoa! In、okay. one sitting. All right, I'm a big eater too. So let's, <laughs>、yes. see, let's see if I can beat your brother. <laughs> I love anything that comes in its own little plate, and you can just like. Yeah, it's so fun to eat. <laughs> That's my favorite. So it makes it a lot easier to eat. So that might be why your brother can. This is true efficiency. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, let's get started. All right, these are、um, gorgeous New Zealand green-lipped mussels. They yeah, were previously frozen, and I've thawed them overnight. It's very important to thaw them; otherwise, they can tend to bake up a little bit watery. So, so they're frozen mussels, and that is intentional. So fresh mussels would work or wouldn't? I tend to err. Not on the fresh mussel、okay. side, just because you would have to steam them to kind of get them open, and then it、yeah. just adds another step. So sometimes there's magic in、yes. frozen.、Food. I just do、the、what、gemma. my mom does. So. <laughs> yeah,、exactly. no questions. You don't want to get in trouble. So what are we? We're arranging them on here. Yes. So、Great. basically, just cut side up. You can nestle them right near. Next to each other, and you just want to watch out for any kind of shell fragments, and、oh, just make、fine. sure、yep. that we don't bake any of those up. These are larger than normal. Than yeah,、like、so that is like. Well, actually, hang on. Let's talk about this big boy. I mean, gorgeous. I know they're they're pretty plump and nice. <laughs> can、um, we put like a post-it on that one so I can get it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have thirty, so I get to eat exactly fifteen at least. Exactly. If I'm being a gentleman and giving you the other half. Yes. <laughs> Can you take down fifteen of these? I cannot. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling. <laughs> I'm approximately six times your size.、So、<laughs> All right, so we'll set these aside, and this is super easy. Basically, you mix mayo, masago,、mm -hmm. which is capelin roe, sriracha, and then diced scallions. I see. We're gonna chop. I have a present for you, and this would be the perfect time to give it to you. Perfect. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to receive a gift? I love gifts. Okay, <laughs> so,、oh、on behalf of me and the fine folks at Food Fifty Two, we have some gorgeous bamboo cutting boards. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Which one should we use? Maybe the bigger one. And could I task you with dicing the scallions? I want you to tell me what to do at all times. Perfect.、Fresh、While、pepper. you do that, I'm just going to start mixing our ingredients. So、okay. this is just. Um, full fat mayo. My mom swears by the Kraft real mayo. Okay.、Um, she likes Kraft over Hellman's, but、okay. you know. Any... How does she feel about like Dukes or Sir Kensington's or any of the other brands that are out there? I don't know. If she's she probably hasn't had... even tried. No, them, no,、yeah. I don't think so. Once once she finds something that works, she just. That's a mom. All she uses. Great.、Um, this is masago. Okay, we need to stop. Let's talk about masago.、Yes. They're commonly used for like sushi,、uh -huh. like like rolls and stuff. Yeah,、like、yeah. Outside. I think that's、um, where I feel like I've seen it. So it has、um, a really nice like salty umami like brininess to、mm. it. And growing、okay. up, my brother was also just maybe this is why he loves this dish so much. But he loved、um, masago, and my mom would literally just put. Masago over rice, and he would just like、oh, really? mix it together and eat it. He has、yeah. a really good palate. I know. I love、yeah. that. Even as a child, yeah. Now, how far down does Joy go on the scallion? Maybe like, maybe like two more slices. Okay. And then, can we talk about? Do you do you do the the regrowth? So I don't. You don't. I don't. Why? 
I don't know. Can we do it today? Yeah, let's do, do it Do you have today. a little cup? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these scallions, put them in like a little cup of water, just maybe like a half an inch, and then they'll regrow brand new scallions. Let's regroup. So this is mayo, mm -hmm. ro oh no, masago. Masago. And then something else. Sriracha. Sriracha. For a oh. little bit of a kick. Gorgeous. Um, it's so pretty. Yeah. Can I do the final yes, stir? Yes, please. Gotta get my hand in everything. And you could add in the scallions oh. as well. Okay, let's do it. And, and then what is? Sometimes I just like to add a, an extra this squeeze. Do you want to? Do you want to take a taste and tell me if? Um, if it's too spicy. Or if we should add a little bit more. Yeah, more. Let's more? do it. Okay. I love spicy. Also, small spoon ever and so cute. Yeah, aren't they so cute? They're so cute. Yeah, they're really fun to actually um, use to eat the mussels as well. Oh, okay, yeah. we're gonna circle back and do that. Let's do it. Great. Right. Squirt it in there. Okay. How does that look? I feel great about okay, it. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna stir all this. Yes. Then, all we need to do is scoop just a little plop a little dollop of the mixture on each of the mussels. So it's about a scant tablespoon, but... A scant? <laughs> a little less than... <laughs> um, a scant. Okay. If but, I put more uh, in, would it be a scantle? Scantilous? <laughs> scantilous, I think. It would be scantilous. Okay, cool. Um, but I won't cause a scantle. What's your grandma's name? It's Oksong. Oksong. Okay. Yeah. And who was like born in Korea, who immigrated? So my grandparents were born in Korea. Actually, all my, my parents as well were born in Korea, okay. but they immigrated when they were in high school, in okay. middle school, so. Oh, wow. I guess like 1.5 generation. Okay. What did your lunchbox look like? My lunchbox? Yeah, in school. Um, my mom packed me turkey sandwiches. Oh! I'm actually vegetarian now. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I actually developed this recipe before I went vegetarian. Okay, so I could eat all 30 today. Yes, that would actually be very helpful what for me. What a dream. <laughs> this is breaking news, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, These I think so we're pretty. just about done. This is so easy to whip up in like 10 Yeah, 10 this minutes. is so easy. Yeah. We love an easy recipe. Um, Easy recipe and then highly enjoyable and crowd pleaser. Yes. Okay, cool. Winner. Yeah. So I preheated the oven to 400. You tell. <laughs> I know. It's like right behind. Sweating. <laughs> okay. Um, and we're just gonna bake these for about 15 minutes. The mussels have been blanched, so it's not like we're trying to like cook them through. Can I open this for you? Yes. So my so I have an oven thermometer. In yes, there. an oven thermometer. Everyone and should have an oven thermometer. Yes, agreed. And Joy is an incredible baker, <laughs> so even more important, an oven thermometer. But my oven is too small to, you know, have the oven thermometer hanging there. Yes, you have to take it out. Yeah. I hear so. you. This is a great oven. Though. Do you have a sweet tooth? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I have a few sweet teeth, actually. Perfect. <laughs> um, well, I have some cakes for you. Joy Cho pastry. Yeah, to try. Thank you, gorgeous. So these are called gem cakes, and I developed them last year. Oh yeah, because um, you had sort of like a pandemic micro bakery moment. Yes, yes, I was okay. one of the many like Instagram micro bakeries. I kind of wanted to reinvent like the classic like bunt cake mm -hmm. and kind of make it fresh um, and innovative. And so the cake base itself, I use a mixture of all purpose flour and sweet rice flour. Oh, so wow, okay. that kind of produces like a springy texture, mm -hmm. somewhere between like a cake, a pound cake and a donut. Yeah. And then with the glazes, I really like to experiment with different flavors. Mm -hmm. And so today I made a black sesame and then a misukaru. Oh. Have you heard of misukaru? It's like one Shockingly, of my favorite. Shockingly, I have not. <laughs> Tell me more. Um, it's honestly like one of my favorite ingredients. So it's a Korean like roasted multi-grain powder. Okay. But it has this wonderfully like earthy and nutty flavor. And traditionally Koreans would mix the powder with like water or okay. milk, yeah, um, sweeten just, it with and, a little bit of honey. Oh, and drink it. Um, yeah, and pop some ice and okay. drink it. I'm gonna get in here. Mm. So spongy. Gorgeous. Okay. I see what you mean. This is a really unique flavor. I love it. And also just like the inside is just such a win. 
So do you have that sort of like sense when something's done or about to, an alarm is about to go off in the oven? Like how are I, you feeling about the muscles? I think they're about to go off. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's go I check out. the sense. <laughs> If you're having fun watching The Secret Sauce with Grossy Pelosi, please like and subscribe so that you can know about all of our next episodes. Where's that big boy? <laughs> <laughs> I think this one. Okay. Also, I like that this one spilled over. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, it's not that bad. I think we're okay. Okay. And I like to kind of like scoop with the spoon. Okay. Into your mouth. There we go. All right. <laughs> I really wanted to suck it out of the shell. Can I put it back in? Yeah. Are you sure? Whatever you want to oh, do. Oh no, wait, you told me to eat no that spoon. No, well, you can like <laughs> use a spoon to kind of like scoop it into your mouth. Uh, okay, I'll do that. Ready? <laughs> this big boy. Okay, I'm so glad that the word creamy is in this recipe. Title. Because <laughs> that is so creamy. Yeah. So delicious. The flavor combo is perfect. Just spicy enough. The extra hit of sriracha mm -hmm. put in there. Okay, so I'm gonna eat all 30, right? Yeah. You're cool with that? My I brother wanna... will be watching. <laughs> He's not coming over to get some? <laughs> I was actually gonna text him to place, be like, place a phone please. call. Yeah. <laughs> Come get these. I'm gonna have one more with the rice. Do you like chase it with the rice? Yeah. Okay, so I'll do this. Oh. It's like a complete meal. I was gonna say, that's a whole Sad damn rice. meal. Yeah. That's delicious. Okay, even though you're not gonna eat one, can we cheers? Yes, please. In celebration of this incredible recipe. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for coming over. This is something I would never have made. And now I'm gonna make it all the time.